Here, we will walk through how to use eData Validator and how to load the data sets, perform validation, and download the validation outcome reports. Log in to eData Validator at edv.xbiome.com using the credentials you've received through your sign-up mail. Here, you will be presented with the option to perform non-clinical study validation or clinical study validation, as well as the option to download the eData Validator desktop client for offline validation of both clinical and non-clinical studies. We will address the desktop application in a separate video. Click on Create New Study. As a first step, fill in the study identifier information and press Save. Before proceeding with the data load, the prerequisite standards information, IG, CT, or defined version, and the validator rule sets, which are pre-populated within the study, can be modified as required by clicking on Edit Details. You can proceed to load the data sets in their respective folder, in STTM and Atom, in case of clinical and send for non-clinical. Upload the files either by browsing for upload or by dragging and dropping the folder into the screen shown here. Click on Start Upload and the validation will automatically start based on the selected rule sets. This will take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes based on the size of your data set. Clicking on the rotating wheel will show you a progress bar. The validation happens in the background. You can click on the folder structure to see the files being loaded. Once the validation is complete, a validation report for each rule set will be available under the data conformance rules and define validation columns. You can download these reports, which will be available in an Excel format. If the user wants to reload the files or re-execute the validation, this can be performed multiple times. This is applicable if the user changes the standard or any rule set selection. Here is a sample report generated by eData Validator for the FDA rule set. The list of rules triggered as an issue in the respective data sets can be clearly identified in the details tab. The workflow just demonstrated for clinical validation also applies to non-clinical study validation. 